Thanks for visiting us again here at Silicon Beats. Today we're going to look at Logic Pro's Chord Memorizer. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with this device, it's essentially a processor that attempts to simplify chord playing by allowing you to strike one note to trigger an entire chord. So I have a basic electric piano pulled up. And we'll go ahead and get started. If you hit Command-8, you'll pull up your environment window. Now scroll up to your new drop down menu and choose chord memorizer. So it'll pop up here. Now what we want to do is route this to our instrument track. So we'll drag a connection over to that track. Now jump back to your arrangement and uh, create a new software instrument. If you right click on this track you can reassign it to your chord memorizer. So now we have everything routed we just have to input our chords. Hit Command-8 again, and uh, pull up your environment window. Click on your chord memorizer, and you'll see two piano rolls. The top piano roll allows you to designate what note strikes the chord, and the bottom piano roll allows you to input the actual chord itself. So for example, we want C3 to trigger a C minor chord. So I'll hit C3 on the upper piano roll, and then I'll program in the chord below. Now I can hit OK. And I'm just striking that C3 note to trigger that chord. So you can pull up your chord memorizer and input several chords. So we'll choose uh, D3. And we'll input a chord for that. And uh, we'll choose E3 and import another chord. Now click OK. So I was able to play those chords just by striking the C, D, and E notes. Uh, again, it just makes it much easier if you're not a keyboard virtuoso. So we hope you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to check us out at SiliconBeats.com.